Welcome to Santa Clara University. My name is Lavrit and I teach math here at SCU. In this video, I'll discuss our calculus readiness exam or CRE, who needs to take it, when and how to take it, and what your score on it means in terms of what math class you can enroll in. The CRE is an assessment that we use to place you into a math course. And to do that, we need to get an accurate picture of what you know now. For our CRE, we use a tool called Alex and based on your results, Alex determines what your current strengths and weaknesses are so that we can find the best first math class for you. You should take the CRE if you plan to take first quarter calculus, which would be math 11, 30, or 35, or if you plan to take pre-calculus, which is math nine. We have three different calculus sequences at SCU depending on your major. Math 30 and 31 are for business majors and some econ majors. Math 35 and 36 are for life science majors, such as biology or neuroscience. And math 11 through 14 is for STEM majors, like computer science or chemistry. You do not need to take the CRE if the first case is your major doesn't require you to take calculus. The second case is if you do plan to take calculus, but you already have AP exam credit for it. Case three is you took pre-calculus or calculus at another college. In the second and third cases, you should contact the registrar's office, and here's their email, to make sure that you get credit for it. The fourth situation is if you took Math 9, which is pre-calculus at SEU. The deadline to take the CRE is June 15th, but that's just a soft deadline. If you miss that deadline, that's okay. You can still take it. You'll just want to make sure that you take it before your registration. How does AP credit work? If you took the calculus AB exam and you scored a four or five on it, you can enroll in second quarter calculus, which is math 12, 31 or 36. If you score a three, you can enroll in first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30 or 35. And if you score two or lower, then you'll need to take the CRE to determine the math class you can enroll in. If you are going to receive your AB exam score after your summer registration, please take the CRE before your registration. That way we can make sure that you are not locked out of registering for a math course. If you took the AP Calculus BC exam and you scored a four or five, you can enroll in third quarter calculus, which is math 13. If you scored three, you can enroll in second quarter calc, which is math 12, 31, or 36. If you scored two or lower, then you'll need to take the CRE to determine what math class you can enroll in. If you are gonna receive your AP score after your summer registration, and you took the AB exam, maybe the previous year, then use that score tentatively to register. Once you get your BC score, if it lets you enroll in a higher level math course, then email us so that we can help you switch. Our email is credirectors at scu.edu. If you didn't take the AB exam, then you should take the CRE before your registration. After you get your BC score, if it would let you enroll in a higher level math course, then please email us. Before you take the CRE, be ready to spend some time thinking about math. So get yourself in an environment where you can focus for a couple of hours. The CRE covers math before calculus. So it covers arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and trig. If you'd like to practice, I'll link some practice materials in the description below. You can take the CRE one time. The interface in Alex defaults to saying that people have multiple attempts, but that's not the case. You just have one attempt at the CRE. So if you would like to practice, it's definitely a good idea to do that beforehand. The big goal of the CRE is to determine what you still remember from your math courses. So it's really about what you know now. It's very common for folks when they begin at SEU to repeat a math class that they may have taken in high school. That's something that I did when I started college. And overall, getting a chance to get more practice with those foundational skills helped me a lot in my future courses. It's important that you work on your own and that you're not using any calculators or outside learning aid. To take the CRE, you'll first log into my SEU portal, then you'll click on the Alex tile. From there, you'll enter in and you'll start the CRE. It'll ask you to install something called Lockdown Browser, which is some anti-cheating software because we really want to make sure that it's your work that we're seeing. On average, the CRE takes about an hour and a half to complete, but we're going to give you 48 hours to do it because we want to make sure that time is not a limiting factor. How do you interpret your score on the CRE? 
If you score 76 or higher, you place into first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30 or 35. If you score between 72 to 75, you can have a retake of, of the CRE, but first you'll need to do 15 hours in the Alex learning modules and email us before July 31st. Our email is CREdirectors at scu.edu. If you score between a 68 to a 71, you can also have a retake of the CRE if you'd like, but you'd need to do 25 hours in the Alex learning module. In both of those score ranges, you could also decide to take Math 9, which is pre-calculus if you wished. If you score between 61 to a 67, then you are placed into Math 9, you wouldn't have an option for a retake. If you score below that, you also place into Math 9, but with that score, it's indicating that it would be beneficial for you to do some additional prep work on your foundational algebra skills. So it would be a good idea to take like a college algebra course this summer before starting with Math 9 at SEU in the fall. I'll end by discussing our Math Advanced program. This is a free online three-week course in August designed to get students ready either for calculus or pre-calculus. It's open to 160 students. The deadlines to be eligible are you have to take the CRE by June 15th. After that, email invitations will get sent out and you will need to accept that email invitation by June 30th. There are two courses. The first is Math Advanced Calculus. This is open to students who score between a 70 to a 75 on the CRE. If you score in that range, you're eligible to enroll in Math Advanced Calculus and folks who complete the course can then register for calculus after that. The other course is Math Advanced Pre-Calculus. This is designed for students who score less than 40 on their CRE. This is really designed to help them build up and shore up their foundational skills so that they are ready to thrive in pre-calculus in the fall. So I hope this video was helpful and welcome again to Santa Clara.